I've been involved in this stuff uh, since 1968, and there's never been a time when people haven't said that it's too late for Cambridge, that things have gone too far. When we got my control in 1970, they had had maybe more change in, in the previous few years to the population than we've even seen now in the time, recent time, because there was almost no subsidized housing then. And, uh, <clears throat> It was just at that point in the beginning of the 70s that a lot of the industry moved out after a couple of decades of the city trying to push them out. Most of them moved out in the early 70s. Cambridge was the second industrial city in the state throughout the 20th century up until the middle 70s and it began to rapidly lose that. The issue is can poor and working class people live in this city? People who, who we, uh, are needed to work in the kitchens, the labs, to service the city's agencies, can they afford to live in the city that they work in? Or must they live 30 miles away? Must, must somebody who works in a kitchen go out of the back door at 2 in the morning and get an old jalopy and drive 30 miles home on top of working for a little more than a little wage? Is that what you need by diversity?